Welcome to this session of how to get the most value out of your existing software. I'm John Horner. Be sure to check out other videos by me and my colleague, JP Lassard. Today, we're going to talk about expanding on your software, specifically extending the capabilities of your software without replacing your core systems. So you have existing software. It may not be doing everything you need. It may not even be really supporting some very important aspects of your organization. So what can you do? One option, replace it. Well, there are, costs, there are costs to replacing your software. There's cost for training, or there's cost for the new software to build it or implement or license new software. There's cost for migrating the data. So there are many things that need to be considered before you just replace your existing software. Another option though, is to build onto your existing software. It's kind of like, do I want to replace my whole home or just remodel the kitchen and add a deck? Well, with software, it's a little bit trickier because there are certain things that you need to consider in terms of how can I expand and extend my software? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So the first approach would be just directly updating your system. If you have custom software and you have access to the source code and you have rights to make changes to it and your system was built to scale, your system was built so that it could handle new features. It was done in a manner that allows you to do that and third, you have a team that understands the architecture so that if you make changes, it won't cause further problems. Well, the idea might just be to build right on top of your existing software and make it better. That's a great option if all of those things are true. If they're not, don't worry. There are other ways to approach this as well. The first is what I'll call an integrated solution. So if you have existing software and you have the ability to interface the data, get data into and out of your software, and most software does allow this either through APIs, file transfer, or even direct access to the database of the system, well, now you can expand it. You can build that deck, so to speak. So when you're doing that, the idea is that you can build something, I'll call it a middleware that interfaces with your existing system and that can handle whether it's the security or the business rules or some processes that your existing software doesn't handle. And then you can extend it out into web portals or mobile apps. So for example, let's suppose you want to get a new set of users into your system. For example, customers or subcontractors, people that aren't currently accessing your systems, you want to give them a secure window or portal into your system, both to access information or possibly to interact with you, interact with the system, give them certain functionality. Well, web portal is a great way to do that. And you can expand your system through this integrated model. Same concept with mobile apps. Let's suppose you want to give your field staff or subcontractors, customers, an app that they can use to interface with certain parts of your system. This is, again, is a great approach for that. It's also good if you're trying to revolutionize or transform a part of your business, business processes, if your system's really just not supporting it the way that it needs to. For example, let's suppose you're trying to change the way your sales team works. You could create a sales team portal that works the way that you need it to. And then again, just interface with the appropriate information back and forth the way that you need it to. So that's a great approach if you're really trying to either allow new people into your system in a secure and limited fashion, or if you're really trying to revolutionize the way certain groups work within your organization. If that's not the case, there are other things that you may be trying to accomplish that you can do in other ways. So for example, let's suppose your system doesn't give you the report that you need. It may be limited in reporting. It may not have information structured the right way. It may not allow you the ability to run ad hoc reports. You may be doing a lot in spreadsheets outside of the system. Well, if that's the case, you may want to consider creating either a separate reporting database that's replicated or potentially tying right into your existing systems database. You do need to think about performance and problems if you're reading directly off the database. So typically, we recommend creating that separate replicated database, or if the data is not structured the way you're looking for it to be structured, or you're trying to get data from multiple systems, you could transform that data into a new reporting database so that you can get just the information that you need. And then you could hook in business intelligence reporting tools or ad hoc reporting, create custom reports, or data-driven automations, whether it's sending out communications or validations around data, you could run this off of either the original database or that replicated database. So a lot of good reasons to build out that separate database and implement some reporting tools if your system is limited in that fashion. 
Well, there are other things you may want to do also. For example, if your, if your people are working in multiple systems, allowing single sign-on between those systems saves the time of having to work in one system, open a new system, log in, and then access that other system. On top of that, if the person now needs to go into a new system and then search for the same information in that other system, well, that can take a lot of time. So cross-linking to specific areas. For example, let's suppose your core system may not have the file or document management that you need. So you may be using a separate document management system. Well, wouldn't it be great if you could just link right to the file in that appropriate record, say a customer record and the files associated with that customer, well, cross-linking to that, potentially with single sign-on, can save lots of time. It's the same with other types of solutions as well, whether it's customer management systems or just other custom systems or web portals that you're accessing. Certain systems also allow for scripting inside of the systems or embedding you know, frames or windows in the systems that can allow for certain levels of automation or viewing information together that just saves time and adds productivity to your team. So if any of these things will help your team or there are other things that you're trying to accomplish, well, let's get to it. Happy to help you. Yeah, we can definitely help. If you have any questions, just reach out. Thank you very much.